Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vaga Maradian. Part of our team this week traveled to Nashville, Tennessee to cover the Army Aviation Association of America's annual conference and trade show, where our coverage is sponsored by Leonardo DRS. While there, we spoke with Rich Kucharavi, Business Development Director for Future Vertical Lift at Sikorsky, a Lockheed Martin company, and Randy Rohde, his counterpart at Boeing. We asked them for an update on the Sikorsky Boeing Defiant Technology Demonstrator the companies are developing for the Army's future vertical lift requirements, the helicopter's capabilities, and the benefits of their collaboration. The Sikorsky Boeing Defiant aircraft is being built at West Palm Beach, Florida at our developmental test flight center. The aircraft is mostly built. There are a few components that remain to complete the build. And while those components are being built, we are putting together a propulsion system test bed, which is essentially an iron aircraft strapped to the ground that will allow us to test out most of the aircraft's dynamic components, meaning the engine, the powertrain, um, most of the flight control systems. And we intend to have that powertrain system test bed in operation in the August timeframe and get some runtime on the critical flight components before putting Define in the air sometime at the end of 2018. So the Defiant is a really exciting uh, opportunity to deliver tremendous capability to the warfighter. So the Defiant with its X2 technology provides tremendous speed range while still having and actually having superior maneuverability to the current platforms that are in operation. So imagine that you can go twice as far, you can go twice as fast as a current platform while still being able to move or maneuver at low speeds Enable the, um, the, enable the Army to operate in the ways that they want to operate in the future and in today in those very difficult environments. Uh, it's going to truly change the way the Army can prosecute combat operations and it's going to be a tremendous new capability for, that, for our warfighters. The core of the X2 technology is that it is a compound coaxial lift offset aircraft with a pusher prop as a separate power vector to facilitate high speed flight. Essentially what this is is a helicopter that goes very fast yet retains the very best low speed hover performance of a helicopter. In fact, the low speed hover performance of this aircraft and its ability to operate in the objective area is actually better than the current fleet of medium aircraft the Army operates. The Defiant is not a prototype and it's not a pre-production aircraft, it is a demonstrator. And with all technical demonstrations, with all demonstrator type aircraft, you are constantly learning throughout the build and development process. We're very pleased with how the aircraft is coming together and the last remaining items we have uh, have to do with the aircraft's uh, transmission and rotor system. One of the things that really makes this exciting is the opportunity for these two technological giants, these leaders in the rotorcraft industry, to team together and bring the best of both sides to this capability. Uh, like Rich said, I mean, we're, we're truly inventing capability here and it is an exciting time to be a part of that process as we discover and then knock down those problems we have. So between these two companies we know so much about the Army's assault capabilities, about their attack capabilities, about their heavy lift capabilities uh, and what matters to them and how they operate. And then you bring together that all the different configurations that the Sikorsky Lockheed team and the Boeing team bring all of our engineering cognizance, the experience, uh, the capabilities. I mean, this is an incredibly powerful team to pursue and deliver this capability. I'd like to add that the collaboration between Sikorsky and Boeing on this program is excellent. As Randy already said, our experience with medium helicopters and with heavy lift helicopters is relevant. It's now. We build between us the Chinook, the Apache, and the Black Hawk aircraft. We've learned a tremendous amount, especially over the last 15 years as the U.S. military has been engaged in the war on terror. We've learned quite a bit about the capability that those phenomenally good aircraft provide, and we are going to take those lessons learned and apply them to Defiant so that we even bring better capability than what these, this, this excellent fleet we currently have fielded um, enjoy. We start everything we do with a view toward how our customer, how the U.S. military will operate this aircraft. We are incredibly sensitive to the needs of the warfighter. General McConville repeated what all Army leaders have repeated really recently, and that is what matters most is how these aircraft support soldiers on the ground in contact with the enemy. And so we say that this development begins with how these aircraft perform at the objective. 
So we are focused first and foremost on the objective area performance of the aircraft, and then we work backward from there. One of the beauties of conferences like this is we get to have these very candid, open conversations with our customers to get feedback on, tell them, give them updates on where we're headed, what we've discovered, uh, what our roadmap ahead is, and then get feedback from them uh, on how that supports what they're trying to do. One of the things I take away this year is the energy and the commitment that the Army has to future vertical lift. You hear it coming through in almost every briefing about how this is the future, how they truly need, want, and intend to acquire this capability. And again, great opportunity for us to be part of that and proud to be part of that team.